So the next thing to talk about here is why do we sometimes look different than our genes? Um, every year we have examples of students that are like, hey, you know, both my parents have a certain color eyes and I have a different color eyes or my parents have curly hair and I have straight hair and how did that happen and this and that. We're getting closer to that answer, but first we got to talk genotype versus phenotype. Um, these two things work together to give us um, basically our individual characteristics. So genotype is the information that is on your genes. Keeping in mind that it means type of genes, we're going to go back to our picture of our chromosomes with our little gene here, and we know that there is a gene for hair type. Like whether it's curly, which is one type of allele that we can have, or we could have another type of allele that would give us straight hair. So if we have two different alleles, that means that we can have three different combinations. We can have two curlies, a curly and a straight, or a straight and a straight. Now, if curly is dominant and straight is recessive, then we have two dominant, dominant recessive, recessive, recessive. This is what's on our genes. What combination of alleles we have on our genes. Now, this genotype then determines our phenotype, our physical appearance. So, um, phenotype, type of appearance, um, due to what trait is actually expressed. If you have two curly alleles, you obviously have curly hair. If you have two straight alleles, you obviously have straight hair. Uh, the curly covers up the straight, so you have curly hair. So we only have two phenotypes in this situation. We have curly and we have straight hair. This is what the trait actually looks like on the person. Um, it doesn't always have to be a physical appearance thing. Um, it could be something to do with how something inside of your body works, how your blood cells work. Um, there's a lot of options, but basically it's what trait you actually have, which most of the time is the same as your genes, but sometimes it's not, like with that big H, little H thing. So let's look at uh, some new vocab. On top of genotype and phenotype, um, we have three genotypes, and these three genotypes give us for dominant and recessive genes that have that nice, pretty picture, um, two phenotypes. Remember, if you will, homo means what? Yes, that's right. Homo means same. Good job. You remember. And hetero means? That's right. Hetero means different. So we're going to go back to using the homo and hetero thing, but we're going to add a different word at the end, which will make more sense in a couple weeks. I'll bring it all around when we talk about reproduction. So homozygous dominant. Um, for that, we have homo, which means same, and dominant. So we're going to have big H, big H, two of the same dominant alleles. The next word is heterozygous, and sometimes you'll see dominant next to it. Sometimes you will not. Um, it's all in how somebody wants to write that. Hetero means different, so we're going to have two different alleles, big H, little h. And finally, we have homozygous recessive, which again, we see same recessive. So we have little h, little h, two of the same recessive alleles. These are the names of the genotypes. I know they look like really long words, but if you keep in mind that homo means same, hetero means different, and you know dominant versus recessive, they're really not that bad. Now, if our phenotypes, right, Remember these uh, letters represent a trait. So big H, big H will give us curly hair. So we have two of the same things. The big H, little h situation, big H covers up little h because curly is a stronger dominant trait. Then we're gonna have curly hair. And if we have little h, little h, then we're going to have straight hair. So if you are homozygous dominant for a trait, you have the dominant trait. If you're homozygous recessive, you have recessive trait. and heterozygous, you always have the dominant trait. Now, who figured this all out? Why does it matter? Answers question in the next video. Questions answered.